Hello guys, today we're going to be discussing CH32V307 and how this chip has now been introduced to the Arduino suite for offered by WCH. So you can now implement Arduino using this MCU. Now the CH32V307 is an industrial based chip offering multiple connections and many IOs. Uh, this chip is ideal for big projects, so if you are doing big projects or you need a lot of peripherals or GPIO in order to do a lot more things, it contains way more storage and uh, RAM. Now, in order to use this chip, you need to have Arduino IDE installed and you need to add our URL or a foreign URL to your boards manager. And then once, you, once you've added that URL for WCH, you need to go to your boards manager and choose WCH and make sure it's version 1.0.3, the latest version. Uh, this will give you access to all WCH uh, boards and uh, you should be able to connect from there. Now the, CH, now the V307 is uh, our industrial based solution and some of its features are it, is, it has uh, a lot of built-in peripherals and uh, for example, it has eight sets of UART and uh, multiple uh, three SPIs, two I2Cs, and two I2Ss. And also, uh, it has a total of 51 GPIO. Okay, so this is the website for WCH, and this is where you can get info on the CH32V307. You can also visit their GitHub page for open WCH. Now, uh, the, the main features of the V307 uh, is the number of uh, peripherals and I.O. available. As you can see, all the features here uh, that are being highlighted, and these allow for a lot of development choices even with our Arduino, because this board, uh, this MCU has 51 GPIO ports, so it would be ideal for big projects that require a lot of interconnectivity. And also uh, it has USB host and device. So you can incorporate USB into your projects as well. And includes up to eight UART. Okay, uh, hello everyone. So this is the development board we're going to be using, the CH32V307. As you can see from the image being shown here this is a huge board with lots of peripherals so it allows for a lot of developmental choices when working with the wch products like usb uh, and also uh, a lot of uart for a lot of interconnectivity based projects so if you have large projects this mcu is ideal okay so this is our implementation in arduino ide uh, so we're going to test, uh, we're just going to test a lot of peripherals to see if they are all working from ADC, DAC, SPI, UART, and to check if everything is working properly. Now, in order to configure your ID, you need to go to preferences. Um, and once there, you need to change the, to add this additional boards manager URL for WCH. You can find this link on our GitHub page, OpenWCH. Once you have configured that, uh, you need to go to Boards Manager. And then you need to search for WCH. And you need to make sure you have version 1.0.3 installed. That is the latest version, and that is the one which supports all the new boards. Once that is installed and everything is running as normal, uh, you can uh, you can then go on to compile. Uh, you can then go on to connect to the WCH board. To do this, you need to select. Uh, you need to search for the WCH board. In this case, we are using three zero seven, so we select the three zero X, 
and then we need to select the COM port and then from there we can verify to make sure that everything is compiling so yes as you can see compilation was successful it means everything is working and then we can then go on to download and flash to our board and this should in this should uh, make our program uh, upload our Arduino program as you can see the upload has been successful and uh, if and uh, soon we can start to see the results so I'll go over to our serial monitor and we should see the ADC input values uh, being fed into our Arduino board now for more specific details you can go to our GitHub page and see the Arduino core for proper documentation as well but uh, with the new 307 board uh, it allows you to carry out much bigger projects as you have access to 51 uh, GPIOs okay now uh, if we look at our data sheet for the 307 and we go specifically to the uh, pin definition pin out and uh, we go to pin description and pin alternate functions uh, if we zoom in here we can clearly see that the DAC pins which is an additional advantage of using V307 because with DAC pins you can actually output true analog values so if you have anything that uh, if so for all projects that require varied uh, input voltage uh, then this would be the most ideal as you don't have to rely on PWM so the analog write for the 307 offers actual uh, analog voltage and uh, this is ideal for so many uh, voltage specific projects and that's one of the main advantages offered by the 307 okay now uh, on the website for Arduino here if we go to uh, if we go to the reference and we look at the functions uh, we can see that they have the analog uh, analog write function and that is the one we want to exploit because the, the V307 has a digital to analog converter one of the biggest advantages is that when you're working with it you can actually output true uh, analog uh, true analog signals rather than using PWM to try and simulate so if you have any project which needs analog signals then uh, this is a much needed addition as you can be working with true analog values if you are using the V307. That's it for today. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us or contact us you can uh, contact uh, our you can contact Patrick Yang on Twitter and also you can contact us as well on Twitter. Uh, the links are shown on the video right now or you can scan the QR code. So that's it for today. Thank you.